Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a new type of ball from Kurt. This is the rocker ball. But essentially it's going to take a two inch ball with a one inch diameter shank and it provides a pivot point. That pivot point allows the ball to rotate slightly independently from the base and the ball mount. They use shock drop technology on the front and the back side. So whether it's a sudden braking situation and the trailer wants to force forward or if we're accelerating or we hit speed bumps and start putting some pulling and pushing force it allows that to rock back and forth essentially that's going to help to reduce any of the rattling and noise that we generally get with a ball mount but it's also going to help to deliver a more comfortable ride for us and our passengers and it reduces some of the stresses that get transferred into the vehicle you know, with a typical ball mount everything's locked down nice and solid there's no give there so Sudden stops, all that energy transferred forward. As we accelerate to maybe get on the highway, all that energy is transferred backwards. So not only on those stops are our brakes taking the big brunt of all of that, but also our suspension system. So using that shock, shock drop technology gives us just a little bit of movement front and back. It really helps to reduce a lot of that. Now on most of the ball here, we're going to have a black carbide powder coat finish. Kind of has a little bit of a matte look to it. Really strong and really durable. We haven't had any issues with chipping or scratching or anything like that. And then the ball itself is going to be chrome plated, just like most standard balls. It's going to risk resist corrosion for quite a while, but over time, once that plating wears off, you might see a little bit of rusting there. And also on the bottom of the shank here, you can see a grease dirt. That allows us to add molly grease in there to keep our shock drop bumpers well lubricated and keep everything working good for a very long time. Now the ball itself is going to be really good for your lighter and medium duty applications. It has a 750 pound tongue weight maximum weight rating so that's the maximum downward force we can put on it. And it gives us a 7500 pound gross trailer weight rating so that's the total weight of your trailer and anything that you load up on it. Overall I think for your smaller campers, trailer utility trailers like we've got here up to like 7,000, 7,500 pounds are going to work out really well for it. Do keep in mind though, you want to choose a ball mount that also carries that same weight rating if it's a 5,000 pound ball mount, but you wouldn't want to exceed that. Now overall guys, I have noticed a slight difference with this and I think for longer trips or if you're always hauling a trailer all the way around the, comf the country this could add some comfort to that situation and help reduce some strain on the truck. If you use a utility trailer once every six months to go pick up some mulch or go pick up some stone or something like that it might not be worth the investment. Now another option that will do about the same thing as what we've got here is the convertible cushioned ball mount. Now essentially that's going to take a ball mount and it puts shock absorbers inside of that. So your pin, it goes in and it locks a disc or a, a tab there and then it allows a little bit of forward and back movement. In my experience, I think the convertible ball works a little bit better than what this one does. So if it were my money and I were not spending it, I would buy the convertible ball cushion ball mount I think. Although I think this one does give us some improvements that we don't see with just a standard ball mount. Now we've got some good in-use footage of the rocker ball and in my experience, while you can't see a whole lot of movement or see it going back and forth a lot, there certainly is a good felt improvement inside. You don't feel the trailer when you brake, you don't feel it necessarily when you accelerate, and it reduces a lot of the clanking noise and a lot of the noise that's generally associated with hauling a trailer. All right, guys, we've seen the benefits that we get out of this type of ball. But one thing to think about when choosing your ball mount is that there's a little bit of a difference in your measurement. Basically, with a standard ball mount, or ball rather, this sits right down on top of the ball mount. As you can see, just by holding it level there, there's a difference in the top of the ball. So that means to get the same situation or to get this at the same height, we need to choose a ball mount that has more of a drop. Now, there's about an inch and a half difference from the top of a standard ball to the top of this ball. So you'll want to choose a ball mount that has about two inches greater drop than what you're used to. So if you use a four inch drop, you're probably going to need a six. If you use a two inch drop, you're probably going to need a four just to keep everything running nice and level. 
Now just to make sure that you're getting everything you need to get this put together properly, first off it's a two inch ball so you need to be sure that you need to use this on a two inch coupler. But also on the ball mount, since this is rated at 7,500 pounds gross trailer weight rating, your ball mount should also be rated for at least that. And the whole diameter size needs to be no greater than one and one sixteenth of an inch. So inch and an eighth, inch and a half ball mount openings aren't going to work. We want it to be about one inch in diameter so our shank can fit down through there and we can get it tightened up properly. We can use this on any ball mount as long as it's not narrower than three eighths of an inch. So ball platform here needs to be three eighths of an inch or greater for this to have the right strength. Now this ball does install a little bit differently than your typical ball mounts will. Namely in that we have this plate. Now this is going to sit right down on top of our ball platform. We want it so the tabs are hanging down on each side. You'll see the indentions here. That's an anti-rotation collar essentially. Those are going to fit right into there. So bring that down and on. Get those aligned. Then we need to put on just like a standard ball mount at this point. Our split ring lock washer. And our nut. And then we'll torque it down per our instructions. I generally like to just rotate it like this. That'll give you the leverage you need to get it torqued down properly. And once we've got this torqued down, we want to hit this with some Molly grease. It's a, uh, a good grease. It's good for any of these sliding surfaces. We sell it here in E-Trailer. We call it Molly EP. We just want to grease it up and then grease it occasionally per the instructions just to make every, sure everything stays moving nice and easy. It's a nice thing about the grease circ there on the bottom because this great access allows us to get the grease in there that we need, keep everything moving the way it should. Alright, once we've got it greased up properly, let's just get it put in position the way we need to. We want to use a 5 8 diameter pin and clip. Get that secured and we'll be ready to hook up to our trailer and hit the road.